So therefore, there should be a praise lifted into the atmosphere. There should be a praise and a worship lifted up to him for the things that he has done and the things that he is going to do. So let's go ahead and get on one accord and worship our God. Oh, say everybody sing, oh, 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 oh. God. Amen. Amen. He's the God of gods. I can say that. Amen. Amen. Truly, we're grateful to be back out in the house of prayer. So grateful to see each and every one of you. Amen. We never know from one week to the next if we're going to still be here in the land of the living, but we're thankful to God that we are still here. Amen. We're still here. Amen. 
Some say heartaches and burdens and loneliness, all that stuff, but we still hear. Amen? Amen. So we thank God for just being in the land of the living. Amen? So many people in the hospitals right now that would just love to trade places with us. Amen? Amen. So we, for that, I'm just grateful. And we all, we should have a grateful spirit. Amen? We should have a thankful spirit. Amen? Amen. You wake up, you should just say thank you. Amen. You wake up and you're feeling good. Thank you. We have so much to be thankful for. Amen. Amen. Right now we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Amen. If there's anyone who has a spoken request, you can stand and let it be known or just by raising your hand. Amen. Charles, amen. All right, we'll pray for her. Amen. Remember Sister Jackie, amen. Lord, to touch her body. Sister Yolanda. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. And that's a lot of grieving families because it's all over the world. Amen. Amen. Deacon Fields. Amen. Yes. All right, yeah. That was Sister Brenda Moses' mother, wasn't it? Yeah, all right. Yeah, pray for them that the Lord will com comfort and strengthen their hearts, you know? Amen. For all of you who still have your mothers here, it's a bless you're blessed. Amen. Amen. Don't take it for granted. Right. Love on your mothers. Amen. 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 While they're here, because once they get once they're gone, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Remember uh, Bishop Asa Jones in your prayers and uh, Elder Mac Bean. Uh, she said, Sister Priscilla, pray for those people. If it was you, you'd want somebody praying for you. So let's just not take these requests lightly. Let's honestly pray for those requests. Amen. All right. Any other requests? I'm going to ask everyone to stand, please. We're going to ask Bishop to take us to the throne. Saints, don't stop praying, for the Lord is nigh. Saints, don't stop praying, he'll hear your cry. For the Lord has promised, and his word is true. Yes, Lord, just keep on praying, yes. Saints, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Oh, saints, don't stop praying. He'll hear your cry. For the Lord has promised, and his word is true. Just keep on praying. He'll answer you. Saints, don't stop praying. Don't stop. Oh, yes. Yeah. Saints, don't stop praying. He'll hear your cry. He'll hear your cry. The Lord has promised. His word is true. Keep on praying. Just keep on praying. Let every heart pray, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come boldly to the throne of grace. Lord, we just say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us even on this day, that you woke us up this morning and that you started us on our way, that you've given us a mind, Lord, to come to the household of faith, You've given us a mind, Lord, to tune in, hallelujah, on a virtual level. You've given us a mind to have fellowship one with another and most of all to have fellowship with you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you're the author and the finisher of our faith. You have our joy. You are our strength. You are our supplier. 
You are way out of no way. You are a very present help in the time of trouble, in the time of need. Lord, we come boldly to the throne of grace. We come boldly, Lord, asking you for your help, asking you for your mercy, asking you for your love and your kindness. Lord, we ask you to stretch out your hand. Stretch out your hand, Lord. Hallelujah. Touch those requests that's been made known before you. Remember our loved ones. Remember those that are sick and afflicted. Remember those that are going through in their bodies. Remember those that are in the hospitals. Those that are on the ventilators. Those, Lord, that are in danger in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, that you move by your power, that you move by your strength, that you move by your grace. Lord, renew our strength. Renew our hearts. Renew our minds. Renew our favor. Lord, we pray, Lord, for financial breakthrough. We pray, Lord, for financial release. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we depend on the kingdom of heaven. Lord, we depend on your kingdom. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you release it. Hallelujah. As it is in heaven, so let it be here on this earth. Hallelujah. Lord, you reign and you rule by your superpower. You reign and you rule by your super glorious grace. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the glory. For thine is the honor. For thine is the power. Forever. Reign, Ikalabosha, Reign, Jesus, Reign, Jesus, Reign, Jesus, Reign, Ikabosha. Father, we thank you. Ikabosha, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We give you glory and honor. Relieve the grieving people in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. If you know he's making a way, come on and praise him. If you know he's heard your cry, come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Please remain standing for the reading of the word. Hallelujah. Let us go to the 19th division of Psalms, please. Everybody have it, say amen. We're going to start reading at verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Skip down to verse 14. Let the words of my mouth And the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. May the Lord uh, bless the hearers and doers of his word. Praise him. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Lord. It's praise and worship time in the sanctuary. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless your name today, Father. Let the meditations of our heart and our mouth be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless your name today, Father. We're thankful for the blood, the blood that you have given, Father, for the sins of this world. We don't take it lightly. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless you today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, and what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the 
and what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We're singing, oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. No other found I know. Nothing but the blood, Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We're singing, oh, precious is that love that makes me white. working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, Wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. I know it was. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. And they pierced him in the side, they pierced him in the side, they pierced him in the side for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. We're singing, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, oh, the blood of Jesus, that washes white as snow, say, oh, oh, the blood of Jesus, I'm thankful for, oh, the blood of Jesus, Oh, the blood of Jesus that washes white as snow. The blood still works. 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 And yes. I know the blood still works. Oh yes, I know the blood still works. Oh yes, I know the blood still works. Oh yes, I know the blood still works. 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 It reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows to the, to the lowest valley in the blood that gives me strength 
from day to day, it will never lose its power. Thank you, Jesus. It reaches to the highest mountain, and it flows to the lowest valley. The blood. From day to day, it will never lose its power. Thank you, Jesus. We're grateful for that blood. Amen. You, Hallelujah. That blood is everything. Amen. Amen. It gives us everything that we need, and we're thankful for that blood. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy to be praised, Father. You're worthy. Everything. You're everything to me. You're everything you say to me. Everything. Everything. You're everything to me. You're everything you say to life me. and breath. Life and breath. You're everything to me. You're everything to me. Your life and breath. Oh God, you're everything to me. Your joy and sorrow. You're everything to me. You're everything Your to joy me. and sorrow. Joy and sorrow. You're everything to me. You're everything My to me. My hope for tomorrow. Hope yeah. for tomorrow. Your hope for my tomorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Your hope for tomorrow. Hope for tomorrow you're everything to me you're everything say to you're me. my peace you're 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 everything to me you're everything your joy and sorrow. Joy and sorrow. 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 Say you're my peace. You're my peace. To me, you're everything to me. 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 You're everything I need. You're everything I need. You're everything, everything. You're everything I need. You're everything to me. You're everything to me. You're everything to me. You're everything. Say everything. Everything. You're everything to me. You're everything. Say to me. everything. Everything. You're everything I need. You're everything. You I joy need. and sorrow. Joy and sorrow. Yeah. You 
joy in sorrow. Joy in sorrow. Your joy in sorrow. Joy in sorrow. Your joy in sorrow. You're everything to me. Amen. God bless you. How many know that the Lord is your everything? Amen. It's a little song out. I like to just sing a little of it. I don't know it all. I just heard it a few times. I probably forget the words. Amen. But bear with me. If I lost everything and didn't have anything, you were the only thing. I still have everything. How many believe that? If I lost everything and didn't have anything, and you were the only thing. I still have everything. Yes, my everything. You are my everything. I still have everything. How many believe that today? If you lost everything you had, and you still had Jesus, do you believe you'd have everything still? Hallelujah, because he is your everything. He's your reason for getting up every day, amen? He gets you up every day, amen? So if you didn't have anything and he was the only thing, you still have everything, amen? Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy tell, try to tell you you don't have him. Yes, you do. Oh, you got Jesus. And you know what the old song used to say? I got Jesus, and that's enough. Amen? Amen. All right. Y'all got to wake up this morning now. Come on. Amen. We're going to have church. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many know that the Lord is still in the healing business? He's still in the saving business. He's still in the delivering business. He's still regulating minds. He's still opening blind eyes. He's still opening deaf ears. He's still doing whatever the need is that you have for him to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know where I'd be without Jesus. Amen. What would I do without the Lord? We used to sing that song too. I don't know what I'd do without the Lord. I ain't going to never try to find out because I ain't going to be without him. Amen. I don't even want to find out, amen? Hallelujah. Because he is my staple, amen? He's my everything, amen? Amen. Right now we're going to change the order of the service, amen? We're going to bless the Lord according to how he has blessed us. And how many know, you know you can't beat God giving, amen? God is always giving more than you can even ask or think, Amen? Hallelujah. I tried it, and I, 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 I know that I can't be God-given. Because whatever you give, he always multiplies it. Amen? But remember, he can't multiply nothing that you don't give. Amen? Amen. And God loves a cheerful giver. Amen? So when you drop your offering in that basket that Deacon Fields is going to come around, and, 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 and you're going to put it in there, just thank God and smile. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because you, 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 you ought to be so glad that you, God has still blessed you to be able to give. Amen? Amen. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask, Lord, that you'll bless this offering for the building up of Christian ministries and your kingdom. Bless all those that give, Lord. Bless those that don't have to give, Lord. And, Lord, we praise you for uh, an opportunity to be able to give one more time into your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Ask everyone to stand, please, right in your perspective places, and he'll come around and collect your offering. Amen? Amen. Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Come on and do your dance with me. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank everybody for their generosity. Amen. These are our afternoon announcements. Uh, we have Bible class every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Asking everyone that can to please come out. We will do thee good. Amen. Uh, Christian Ministries here, we have a statement of purpose. It's to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ through effective, responsible ministry and intentional, creative, dynamic fellowship. Our core values are that we value love, we value persistence, we value patience, we value commitment, we value sacrifice, we value service, and we value you. Amen? Our vision statement is to be a caring fellowship, leading souls to Jesus Christ, strengthening members, families, making disciples, equipping them for service, and community ministry. Amen? Amen. Uh, don't anybody else have an announcement that you didn't get to me? Amen. All right. Well, without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to some. But at first, let me welcome our visitors. Amen. Amen. Sister Tamika and uh, her sister, I can never. Tyra, yes. Amen. To Sister Tamika and Sister Tyra are with us today. The sister over here, what's your name, please? Oh, that's Cece. Oh, you done growed up. I know who Cece was. And Cece, we're so glad to have you with us, Cece. And Brother Mikhail and the sister that all, that's been coming. Amen. And glad to see Brother Leroy and Sister Chris back. And Brother Chap, Deacon Chapman. Amen. Pardon me? I praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glad to see the newlyweds out with us today. Amen. Amen. Uh, God is good. Amen. All right. Without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to some and to, uh, <laughs> to present to others our bishop, Bishop Frankie L. Quinn. Let's receive him with a hearty amen. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Everybody say. Hallelujah. 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 Sing hallelujah. 
Oh, sing hallelujah. Yes, sing hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands with me. Clap them with me. Come on and clap your hands with me. Come on and clap your hands with me. Yeah, sing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Just build a sanctuary. Sing hallelujah. Offer a sacrifice. Sing hallelujah. A sacrifice of praise. Come on and do your dance with me. Somebody dance Come before the Lord. Your dance, dance with me. You ought to get happy. Come on and, and do your, your dance, dance with me. Rejoice in the Lord always. Come on and do your, your dance, dance with me. Everybody say, sing hallelujah. The highest praise. Sing hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Sing hallelujah. My soul cries out. Sing hallelujah. Hey. Come on and clap, clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really Do you love him today? Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. I really love my Jesus. 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 Do you love him today? I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. I love the Lord. I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. I really love him. 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 Come on, come on. Him. I really love him. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Do you dance if you love Jesus? Do you dance if you love him? Do you dance if you love Jesus? I really love him. I really love my Jesus. 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 Sing, I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and just bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and just give him some glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Come on and sing hallelujah. Hey. Come on and sing hallelujah. hallelujah. Everybody say one more time. Hallelujah. Hey. Come on sing hallelujah. How many of you know there's power? Sing hallelujah. Break up the atmosphere. Sing hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. It's good to bless the name of the Lord. How many of you know the name of the Lord is a strong tower? And the righteous runneth in and they are safe. How many are just depending on Jesus? How many are just depending on the Lord? trusting in his holy name hallelujah leaning on the lord thank you lord we thank and praise the lord that we're leaning on him amen hallelujah i said amen amen we know where our help comes from thank you lord and our help cometh from the lord uh, i've tried numerous things in my life 
And I'm sure you've tried numerous things in your life. Uh, but there's nobody better than Jesus. There's nothing sweeter than Jesus. Uh, there's, eh, glory, there's nothing that can compare to Jesus. Uh, I could hear the songwriter say, this joy that I have, uh, the world didn't give it. Uh, I said, this peace that I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Come on and give the Lord one more hand praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Because one day he heard our cry. Uh, he heard our cry. Thank you, Lord. I remember I was, uh, my, my story always start with water. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's in the beginning. Uh, the, the earth was filled with water and it was void and it was chaos. That sounds like my life. Amen. It was filled with chaos. Amen. But one day the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face. Hallelujah. Of the water. Thank you, Lord. And begin to separate uh, the darkness from the light. And I remember uh, going to Mercyhurst College. I was uh, back in 82, 86. No, I had to be 82. And I uh, just began to cry out to God. I went to the back. They had a, in the back, they had a little pond back there uh, where the nuns, I believe, went and prayed. And they had a little bench. And I remember I'm back there praying. I'm back there seeking after God. Didn't know nothing really about the Lord. But I knew that he was a helper. Amen. I knew that if you called on Jesus, I knew that if you called on the name of the Lord, he would hear your cry. Uh, so I called on him. Thank you, Jesus. And I started praying. I started seeking after God. And when I left that little area, I felt better. But I didn't realize that the things that he would set in motion uh, those next couple years of my life would bring me closer to him. Uh, he got a way to bring you closer, doesn't he? Uh, when you call on the name of the Lord, it may not seem like things is happening right away, but he heard your cry. Hallelujah. And he'll answer by and by. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. He may not come when you want him, but he's always right on time. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We certainly do praise God and thank God for our first lady, Lady Tracy Quinn. I, I, my, she caught my attention. I'm looking at her, walking around, and I'm like, wow, that's my wife over there. Look at, oh, she look good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank God for my lovely wife. Amen. It's good. Amen. The Bible says it's a good thing when a man finds a wife. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And that's when I found really my favor with the Lord. Amen. Ain't that the scripture? Hallelujah. So I'm glad to be married. I'm a promoter of marriage. Amen. I said I'm a promoter of marriage. Amen. Uh, it's an institution of God, isn't it? Oh, y'all going to make me teach Bible class up in here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we certainly praise God for Pastor Elois Duck. Come on, give God a praise. Thank you, Lord, who had the privilege of Minister Grady Davis and his lovely wife. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for them. Thank God for Mother Louise and Deacon Mitchell. We thank God for him. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for Deacon uh, Fields. Amen. And our ushers and our, our media team. And we thank God for all of you that have come out to be in the household of the Lord. Amen. Truly, God is great, and he's greatly to be praised. And we praise him for all of our visitors. We thank God, uh, who's not a visitor, but our uh, cousin there, Sister Cece, niece, no, no, my, my niece, I'm sorry. I be, uh, When I think of cousins and things like that, we're related to my children. I think of my children first, and they they children. <laughs> they 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 cousins, they bad. But we thank God for my niece. Won't you stand up there? Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Amen. Praise God for you. And we praise God uh, for each and every one that has come out to be in the house of the Lord, to be in the service. And we certainly do praise God for all of our virtual listeners that are uh, with us here on today. We certainly do praise God for you as well. Amen. And if you hear me on today, put a comment in there and say, praise the Lord, Bishop. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. It's truly good to be in the household of faith one more time. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I feel like David when he said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And as things are on the outside heating up uh, as far as the coronavirus, we want to uh, remember uh, our safety and, you know, wear our masks and wash your hands regularly in the six six feet apart. And um, just want you to know here at Christian Ministries, every other week we have the sterilizers come through. They, they sterilize and sanitize everything on a professional level. Amen. And our ushers, they, they clean up before service and after service so that we can uh, do our part. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And we praise God and we praise God uh, that he is good and his mercy endured forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And as we uh, get ready to go into our service on today um, um, and looking uh, toward our message, and we know that Christmas is coming, uh, the season uh, for giving. Amen. It's always a season for giving. And so we want to uh, acknowledge and, and for you to love your own, your loved ones. And uh, the, true, the true meaning of Christmas is that God gave. God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish and not, uh, uh, but have eternal life. And um, I want to challenge you today and uh, for this season. And I want you to give, to give something. I want you to give the gift of forgiveness. Those that have really done you wrong and did you dirty. <laughs> Amen. And those that even, even on the fringes of doing you dirty, uh, forgive them. Amen. Forgive them. Uh, release them. Give them that gift of forgiveness. Yeah, amen. I got one hand clap. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's going to cost you something. Amen. Uh, you shouldn't give nothing that doesn't cost you something. Amen. And your forgiving is going to cost you something. It's going to cost you the ability to humble yourself. Amen. It's going to cost you the ability to make that phone call, uh, uh, make that uh, uh, face to face or however you want to do it. Send your text. Amen. But it's going to cost you something. But when you give that, God will bless you. Amen. When you do that, God will help you. Amen. How many of you believe that today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Man, I feel like talking uh, in just this moment, but, but uh, I want you to know that a lot of sickness and a lot of disease is attached to unforgiveness. So when you forgive, you can see your health rise, your, your anxiety level go down, your, your peace come back. Amen. You'll probably get you a couple more hours of good sleep. Amen. Uh, yeah, glory. Come on here, somebody. Come on here, somebody. I'm preaching already. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It'll help you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So give that gift on this, this holiday season. Amen. And won't, won't watch God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. And as we get ready to um, go into our service on today, I want you to stand with me. Thank you, Jesus. And stand with me and turn to the book of uh, 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter number 12. 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter number 12. Thank you, Lord. When I first heard somebody say 2 Corinthians, I'm saying, oh, man, they're saying that wrong. But I didn't realize that that's an old ancient way of saying 2 Corinthians. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So 2 Corinthians uh, chapter Number 12, if you have it, say amen, amen, and uh, I want you to drop down with me, drop down with me to verse number 9, 2 Corinthians chapter number 12 and verse number 9, very familiar passage of scripture, amen, and uh, it's fitting for uh, what the Lord would have us on today. And it says, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. 
Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in mine infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And uh, we want to just read that together uh, so we can get it in our spirit. Amen. And let us read. And he said, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. Strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in mine infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Amen. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you for your word on today. We thank you for the anointing that is in this place. We ask you, Lord, that you strengthen our hearts and strengthen our mind. Grant the door of utterance. Uh, grant ears to hear the engrafted word of God. We pray in Jesus' name, amen and amen. And uh, I just want to take for a thought uh, this morning about being a partaker of his grace. Be a partaker of his grace. And uh, just by reading that scripture one more time, it says, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. And uh, it seems like that latter part of that verse, that B clause of that verse, he, he really caught the revelation of what Jesus had said. And I believe he probably exclaimed this with an exclamation point. He's saying, most gladly, uh, therefore, <laughs> will I rather glory in mine infirmities that the power of Christ uh, may rest upon me. And I believe that Paul, when he received that revelation, uh, begins to rejoice and to begins to magnify the name of the Lord. Because in this beginning part of this particular scripture, we see that uh, Paul, he went to the third heaven, the Bible says, that he was in a trance. Whether in the body, he said, he cannot tell, or whether he was awake, he could not tell. And uh, he was, was in a trance, and the uh, power of God took him to the third heaven. And there, the Bible says that he received some things that were unlawful to be uttered. God had given him an abundance of revelation, abundance of wisdom, an abundance of knowledge, an abundance of understanding. And uh, so that Paul would not get puffed up, as we would say, so that Paul would not get the big head because of what he received. The Bible says that he was received a messenger from Satan to buffet him. And I just want to say that, you know, sometimes that uh, the, the, the messengers of Satan come, uh, not that we have done anything wrong, but uh, so that we don't get puffed up, amen, so to keep us humble, to keep us humble before the Lord. And that's simply what tests and trials are. They are to keep us humble before the Lord. They are to show us, uh, show us uh, uh, how much we love God, to show us whether or not we're going to keep his commandments, to show us whether or not uh, we're going to walk humbly with our God. And it's important for us to walk humbly with our God. And it's important for us to know that, that it's important for us to know that God uh, wants us to draw our strength from him. A lot of people, uh, I can say, that uh, don't really understand that, that where their help comes from until they get into trouble, until they get into numerous situations. A lot of uh, people trust in themselves. They, they trust in their bank account. They trust in other people. But when you realize or they trust in, in once again, themselves, and when they realize that, 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 well, people will fail you. The Bible says when your mother and father forsake thee, the Lord will be there to take thee up. 
Uh, we have to realize where our help comes from. And God wants us to know that our help comes from him. And we are encouraged, the Bible says, to draw our strength from the Lord. When we realize that uh, we get connected with Jesus, when we get baptized in his name and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, we begin into a union or a relationship with Christ. And, and in that relationship, we got to realize the power of that union. The power of that union is, is recorded in the Bible. And it, and it tells us that our reunion is, is dedicated and committed to Christ. Uh, our union, when we think about our union and our oneness, the Bible says that we've been baptized in him. We've been uh, washed in his blood. We become bone of his bone. Ah, oh, my God, we we become partakers of the fellowship of Christ and uh, we've been made conformable unto his death. And when we rise up out of that water, we rise up to walk in the newness of life. And uh, then we walk by faith and not by sight, by the faith in the operation of God. And when an individual is walking with God and walking with Christ and has union with him, then, then the Bible says that we ought to set our affection on things above where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. And we realize that with Christ, uh, uh, in him we live, and, and in him we move, and in him we have our being. And we realize that we can be strong in Jesus, for uh, we are, he is our very present help uh, in the time of trouble, in the time of breakthrough, in the time of need. The, the Lord is there to help us. And, and oftentimes we, we think that, well, I can do this by myself. But we got to realize that our help has to come from the Lord. That's why the Bible says to, for us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Uh, a lot of times we try this and a lot of times we try that and we fail. But, but we got to try Jesus. Uh, my God, tell your neighbor, try Jesus. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. Why? Because he's the author and he is the finisher of our faith. He's the one that's going to be there to help us in our time of need and in our time of struggle because he we take on him and we are bone of his bone and we are flesh of his flesh and we've been baptized in the name of jesus and the blood of jesus is in our lives and that union with him that when we call on him he can see the blood when we call on him Hallelujah. He can see our help and know that we have a need that only he can supply. Hallelujah. There's some things that only Jesus can supply. There's some things that only Jesus can make a way for you. There's some things that only the Lord can help you through. And when we realize these things, uh, hallelujah, that's when we begin to receive our help. That's when we begin to see our joy. That's when we begin to see, receive our peace. Oh, my God in heaven, did I got to pray in church up in here. My God, do I got to pray in church up in here. My God, my God, because God is great and he's greatly to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, he, he's greatly to be praised. He, he's magnificent. He's wonderful. And, and there's nobody like him. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, there's nobody like him. There's nobody like him. And when we look at our text here on today, we see that Paul was sent a messenger from Satan, a messenger from Satan to buffet him. And the Bible says that a messenger is an angel, an evil spirit was sent from Satan to, uh, to buffet him. And we have to understand, brothers and sisters, that, that 
that Satan, I'm not trying to give him any glory. I'm not trying to give him any honor. I'm not trying to give him any praise. But Satan does have some power. The Bible says that he is the prince of power of the air. And, and if you look back in Genesis chapter number 3 and verse number 1, you'll begin to see that God talked about Satan there. And he said that he is the most subtle beast of the field that God had made. And when we translate that into spiritual talk, that means that, that, that Satan is the most formidable foe that God has made that could come up, up against man. Let me say that again, that Satan is the most formidable foe that could come up against man that God had created. You know that the devil, his mission is, let me get some monitor right here on this flow just for a moment. You know that the mission of the Satan is to kill, to steal, uh, and to destroy. Uh, the devil came to kill and to steal and to destroy. Uh, my God, he had a mission in plan uh, for you. And his mission in plan for you uh, was to deter your life, to buffet you. Uh, my God, to buffet you so that you, like Paul, would not get the big head. Uh, my God, if the devil was not around, we wouldn't call on Jesus. If the devil did didn't cause us trouble, we would go about our lives not calling on the name of the Lord. Uh, who am I talking here to today? My God, the reason why I came to Jesus because I was wounded. Uh, Monique, give me that other mic there. I was wounded. Uh, hallelujah. I was going through in my, my situations. And I needed some help from the Lord. Don't you know that you need some help from the Lord? You need some help from the Lord. And the Lord is able to strengthen you. The Lord is able to give you what you need uh, in your time of trouble, in your time of struggle. If, if it had not been for the Lord, that is on our side if it had not been for the Lord who is our very present help uh, in the time of struggle and, and we've got to understand that the devil uh, he can't harm you he can't do nothing against you but he is a messenger uh, he's a messenger and that messenger means that he sends a message to tempt you uh, he sends a message to tempt you uh, in the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye and the pride of life. And, and if it had not been for the power that is in Jesus, we would give in to our temptations. We would give in to the uh, thoughts of the devil that he brings to our life. We would give in to the temptations that he brings to us. And it comes to us through a thought. Uh, uh, that's why the Bible says a messenger from Satan my God hallelujah that message is that he bring uh, it connects to the lust that is in our bodies it connects to the evil desires that are within us who am I preaching here to the day my God uh, the, that's why Paul said when I would do good evil is always with me why because the evilness of the devil he's always trying to bring me a suggestion he's always trying to uh, make me get angry and get upset and crush you out hallelujah he's trying to always give me a thought to, hallelujah to punch you in your face uh, to lie to cheat and to steal uh, but greater is he uh, you got to say greater my God greater is he that is in you than he that it is in the world because the devil can't go no further than what God allows. And let me say this, brothers and sisters, that the devil can't go no further than what you allow. Oh my God, that's a revelation. Uh, when you say enough is enough, enough shall be enough when you say back up devil uh, you, don't, you don't belong to me and I don't belong to you you gotta get out of my house oh and if you resist the devil the bible says steadfast and he shall flee oh clap your hands and give God a praise give God a praise my God sometimes we 
run up against these messengers, these messenger demons oh, that is sent from the pit of hell to stop us from our steadfastness. But if you put your trust in Jesus, not just some things, but everything is going to be all right because the devil tempted Jesus. Oh, yes, he did. I said he tempted him in all points, just like you are, but yet without sin. The devil can tempt you in all points, but you can have the same testimony as Jesus Christ. You can have the same testimony as Jesus. You can have the same testimony as Jesus Christ. Oh my God, brothers and sisters, and sisters and brothers, we have to realize that when the devil buffeted Satan, when Satan buffeted Paul, we've got to understand what that means. Oh, his buffeting. Oh my God, his buffeting. A lot of people say that that buffeting was an infirmity, an infirmity in Paul's flesh. A lot of people say that Paul was going through a lot with his eyes and with his body. And that very well may be true. Satan can use sickness. Satan can use disease uh, to keep you down. But let me venture to say on today that this buffeting came from other people. Because if you read Paul's epistles, he dealt with other people that didn't want to deal with him. Oh my God, when he started living holy, when he started living righteous, other people tried to stand up against him and stop him from moving with God. You've got to watch out for people oh, that are trying to stop you from taking that next step with God. You've got to watch out for people oh, who are messengers from Satan. Uh, that'll get close to you uh, and tell you you can't do it. Uh, who do you think you are? Uh, you're crazy for going to that church. Uh, you're crazy for seeking after the Holy Ghost. Uh, you're crazy for giving your tithes and your offering. Uh, you need to stop. Oh, but you've got to realize uh, that you wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh, but against principalities, uh, but against powers. Uh but against rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places because you are wrestling against spiritual wickedness you need a spiritual power that can help you oh my god I got a revelation you need a spiritual powerhouse some people call him wonderful some people call him counselor some people call him mighty God some people call him prince of peace but if you don't know anything other than that you can call him Jesus who is the lily of the valley and the bright and morning star who is the rose of Sharon what's his name his name is Jesus. Oh, clap your hands. Clap your hands in the sanctuary. Clap your hands in the sanctuary. My God, I feel like praising him. Uh, you see, Paul, y'all may be seated just for a moment. You see, Paul went through what he went through. Hallelujah. And when he was buffeted, the Bible says that he prayed. He went to the Lord and he begins to pray. Yeah. The Bible says that he prayed uh, three times. Uh, my God, he prayed three times uh, just like Jesus. Uh, Jesus prayed in the garden. Uh, he prayed three times. Uh, and the Bible says sweat ran down his face uh, like great drops of blood. Uh, and neither Paul uh, or Jesus uh, got the answer that they were looking for. Uh, but Jesus told Paul, uh, my 
grace is sufficient. Uh, my grace is sufficient. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we've got to realize, number one, uh, that when we're being buffeted, uh, when we're being fought by devils, uh, when we're being fought by human beings uh, that are possessed with devils, uh, we've got to know uh, that we, that's the time to pray. Uh, that's the time to seek after God. Uh, because power, because God has a spiritual authority over every demon, over every power of the enemy. You've got to realize that authority over demonic powers, over demonic forces is only in Jesus. Oh my God, who am I talking to today that when you call on Jesus when he got up out of that grave he got up and he said I got all power in heaven and in earth there's all power in Jesus there's deliverance in Jesus the Bible says that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ he is Lord Lord. I want you to know, beloved, that Jesus is Lord. He, you were bought with a price. You are in union with him. And he gives you of his power. He gives you of his anointing. He gives you of his glory. He gives you of his strength. He gives you of your inheritance. He gives you might. He gives you the armor that you may be able to stand against the wile of the devil. Tell your neighbor, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles, against the tricks against the plots of the enemy. The devil is not just after your joy. The devil is not just after your peace, but he's after your life. You've got to declare and to decree that this joy that I have, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Come on and give God a praise give God a praise give God a praise give God a praise lift up your heads all ye gates and be lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory somebody say the king of glory Ah, oh, the king of glory, he shall come in. Come on and give God a praise. My brothers and sisters up there in the room, if you know how, just give me a little volume. Not on the speakers, but on the monitors, on the floor. I think somebody have been messing with my heifer, plowing with my speakers. Oh, but the devil is a against you. The devil is against you. Come on and give God a praise. Oh, give God a praise. Give him a praise in this atmosphere because this word that you're going to receive on today is able to build you up. Tell your neighbor, I want a word that'll build me up. I want a word that'll shut the mouth of the gainsayer. I want a word that'll give me joy. I want a word that will give me life so I can have it more abundantly. Come on and clap your hands and give God, give God, give God. Give God, give God, give God a praise. Oh Lord, won't you be seated as I come to my conclusion. You see that the devil was coming after Paul and he was buffeting him. But Paul realized that 
Why should I go through what I go through? I can call on the name of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we've got to realize that there is a lot of load that we are trying to carry ourselves. There is a lot of burden that we're trying to carry ourselves. There's a lot of weight on our shoulders that we're trying to manage ourselves. But I hear the words. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give thee rest. You got to come. You got to come to Jesus can anoint you so that he can give you grace and this grace that he gives is powerful this grace that he gives it represents power oh he said my grace is sufficient and when we look at that verb sufficient and the predicate his grace that verb gives action to the grace of God and when I was studying it I looked that sufficient and I said Lord that word sufficient means it's simply enough and in my Holy Ghost mind I said Lord I know that you are you're more than enough that word just doesn't do you justice about your grace and then the word came unto me and he said my grace is sufficient meaning that I'm enough but I'm a sustaining supply of enough in other words I sustain you in every condition in every situation I'll keep you I'll keep you from falling I'll present you faultless I'm enough oh, I'm enough than all that you need I'm enough come on and give God a praise come on and give God some glory come on and give God some praise he said I'm enough he said I'm more than enough I'm able to do exceedingly abundantly uh, above all that you're able uh, to ask or think uh, he said uh, I'm enough oh Lord I'm enough oh Jesus oh Jesus somebody say Jesus somebody say Jesus yeah Lord come on and clap your hands and give God a praise oh Lord oh yes we've got to understand that we're fighting against these powers that we're fighting against the enemy but in Jesus Christ he said I'm more my grace is sufficient my strength is made perfect in weakness and when Paul caught the revelation then he understood that when I say I'm weak then I'm strong in Jesus when I humble myself beneath the mighty hand of God I'm strong in Jesus when you humble yourself beneath the mighty hand of God it works in reverse when people see you humbling yourself they may see that you're weak they may think that you have no might but there's something down on the inside oh my God that's working on the outside and you'll see a change you'll see the anointing you'll see some power you'll see some glory you'll see some strength oh come on sir. you ought to give God a praise oh Lord they may talk about you but the great of God is upon you they may try to do you dirty but the grace of God is resting it's resting upon you it's giving you power to hold your peace and let the Lord 
fight your battle. When the enemy telling you to cuss them, grace says bless them. When the enemy tells you to fight them, grace says stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Grace says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Come on and give God a praise. When Paul caught the revelation of how powerful grace is, he said, therefore, most gladly will I glory in my infirmity. I'll gladly glory in my weaknesses. For when I'm weak, then I'm strong. When I'm confused, I have all things. When I'm empty, I'm full with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You've got to realize this. That because of his grace, because of his power, because of his anointing, hallelujah, you've got to take pleasure in your infirmities. Take pleasure in your reproaches. Hallelujah. People talking about you, doing your dirty, Pastor Duck, Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. Hallelujah. That sounds foolish to some. But those that have been bought with a price. Those that are on the Lord's side. They rejoice in the Lord. Paul was saying that. Yeah I got revelations. That no man else has. But these tests and trials. They are the ones that's building me. Those are the ones that's making me. Those are the ones that's strengthening me. Hey, what you're going through, beloved, those are the things that's making you. Those are the things that's strengthening you. What you're going through, those are the things that are revealing Christ in you. Ah, the hope of glory. So therefore, lift up your bow down head and strengthen your feeble knees and give God some praise. Trouble on every hand, rejoice. Devil on your track trying to turn you back, rejoice. Hey, you may have lost your job, but don't lose the victory. Rejoice. Rejoice. Hey, Bosha. Rejoice. Rejoice. Tell your neighbor, rejoice. Paul said, therefore, Moses, I most gladly take pleasure in my infirmities. Uh, the infirmities represents pain and ailment in the body. Uh, pain and ailment in the mind. Hallelujah, my God. Your mind may be, be troubled, but you got to rejoice. You may not be able to see a way, but you got to rejoice. Sometimes you can be walking with the Lord and say, Lord, I'm confused. Uh, but you got to rejoice. Hey, uh, you may say I don't know how you're going to bring me out of this but rejoice you got to put a praise on it Hallelujah! once you cry those tears you got to put a praise on it uh, once you cry those tears you got to put a praise on it once you bring your complaint to God you got to put a praise on it you, my God, I wish y'all hear me today. You got to put a praise on it. You got to rejoice and give thanks. Because when you rejoice and give thanks, it activates a kingdom principle. Joy and peace has to come. Glory and honor has to come. Grace is released in your life if you just rejoice. Sunday devotion. Hallelujah. You got to rejoice. Peter. Peter tried to be strong in his own power when it came down from Jesus going to the cross. Peter received the revelation from Jesus. Jesus asked, who do men say that I the son of man am. And Peter received a revelation. <laughs> My God. You know what? 
I'm seeing revelations as good, uh, but, but you know, I think experience is better. Hallelujah. And, I, and that's the first time I'm saying that. Hallelujah. He received a revelation, and he said that thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. And we need to have that revelation. And Jesus said, blessed art thou. Y'all know the story. Simon by Jonah. Uh, for flesh and blood, I ain't give that to you, but my Father which is in heaven. Uh, and he said, upon that rock, I'm going to build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Ah, but you read down into that chapter, Jesus is giving them more revelation. He told them that it behooved Christ to die, uh, to raise again on the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. And Peter stood up and said, be it far from you, Lord, that this would happen. Huh? And he said, Lord, if you go, uh, they try to capture you. Peter said, I will die with you. I will fight with you. Huh? Peter was talking in his own strength. Talking about what he would do. And Jesus said, Peter... Uh, before the crock crow, you're going to deny me three times. Hallelujah. But Peter was put under pressure. I want y'all to hear me here. Peter was put up on the pressure because he had boasted in his own strength and boasted in his own might. When trouble came, he denied Jesus. When trouble came, he gave up the ship. Uh, when trouble came, a messenger from Satan came into his mind and put it in his mind that if you, did, if you acknowledge him, you're going to die like him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He was trying to serve the Lord out of his own strength. Uh, when you try to serve the Lord out of your own strength, uh, 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 that yoke is hard. Uh, that yoke is not easy. You can tell which yoke you're carrying by the, by the, by the, by the way you're carrying it. Uh, if you're carrying a hard yoke, Jesus didn't give you that yoke. Uh, if you're having a hard life, that life didn't come from Jesus because he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You've got the wrong yoke, baby. Hallelujah. You better yoke up with Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. But you see, Jesus... My God, Jesus seen that these things would happen. So he begins to talk with Peter. Uh, Y'all remember when he came to Peter because he was heartbroken. Peter was crushed and, and, and Jesus came to Peter and said, Simon Peter, lovest thou me more than these? And Peter said, yeah, Lord, I love you. Peter, Peter, feed my sheep. And then he asked him a third time, feed my lambs and feed my sheep. And, and Peter broke down and repented. And he begins to cry and say, Lord, you know that I love thee. Well, what the devil didn't know beforehand, uh, that Jesus, Jesus told Peter that the devil has desired to sift you as wheat. Uh, but I have prayed for you uh, that your faith fail not. Uh, a lot of times we get into trouble, uh, but we've got to realize that when we're in our trouble, uh, that Jesus has already prayed for us. Uh, he prayed for us that our faith will not fail. Uh, my God that your faith will not fail. Uh, you've got to realize that if you're in trouble, uh, my God that Jesus Christ, uh, he's the one that has given up his life uh, for you and I uh, so that you can have strength uh, in the midst of your test. Uh, you can have power uh, in the midst of what you're going through uh, because he prayed for you uh, that your faith fail not. Uh, so how then I feel like closing once again how then do we access this faith the Bible says you've got to come boldly to the throne of grace you've got to come boldly and that word boldly means you've got to come with confidence not in yourself not in your condition no oh my God not in your own power I don't care if you're the dirtiest sinner of the dirtiest sinners. You can still come boldly because the throne of grace represents your deliverance. 
it represents your power from what the enemy has tried to entrap you with so that's why he said come with confidence come with confidence in the fact that Jesus died and he rose again on the third day and when he got up he got up with all power he led captivity captive and he gave good gifts unto men you gotta come with confidence that if I come to Jesus if I can just but touch the hem of his garment I shall be made whole if I come I know he's gonna bless me if I come I know he's going to deliver me if I come I know he's going to cause me to be the head and not the tail you gotta come come boldly to the throne of grace that you can obtain mercy and find grace to help you in your time of need humble yourself beneath the mighty hand of God seek ye the Lord while he may be found and call on him while he is near call on him and he'll help you trust in him and he'll deliver you for this cause came he into the world to destroy the works of the devil over your life if you put your trust in Jesus if you put your trust in the master not just some things but everything will be alright come on and give God a praise tell the enemy loose here <laughs> hallelujah the grace of God the Bible says the grace of God has appeared unto all men teaching us <laughs> hallelujah I said teaching us that we should deny ungodliness amen you can't deny ungodliness without Jesus uh, you can't deny a worldly lust without Jesus uh, hallelujah my God my God hallelujah that we should live soberly amen if you're not living soberly in this present world then you need more grace hallelujah if trouble hallelujah is always getting you back into trouble you need more grace uh, if you can't uh, be slow to speak swift to hear uh, and slow to wrath you need more grace uh, if you can't eh, both shot, hold your peace and allow God to fight your battle you need more grace if you can't possess your vessel in sanctification and in honor, you need more. Ah, uh, y'all ain't gonna help me preach up in here. Hallelujah. You need more grace. Hallelujah. You need more grace. Thank you, Lord. If your infirmities, your sickness is always the first thing you think of, you need more grace. If it's always stopping you from doing what God has assigned you, you need more grace. Uh, if, if persecution, people persecuting you and people talking about you uh, is, is, is getting you upset and pushing your buttons, you need more grace. Uh, they talked about Jesus. They talked about Paul. They talked about your mama. Hey, they hey, come on, shot. Hallelujah. They talked about whoever. Hallelujah. But you can't lose the victory. Hallelujah. Notice who the messenger is. Satan's the messenger. Amen? Satan's the messenger. My God. Hallelujah. You know, I'm done preaching. But you know, the Bible says that when we get to heaven and finally see the devil, we're going to say, you the one that's been causing all this trouble? The Bible say that. We're going to say, you the one that's been causing all this mess? Hallelujah. You know what that reminds me of? The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> they was on the, 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 the yellow brick road. And they said they was going to see the wizard. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then the wizard was behind that curtain. 
huh? screaming and hollering, <laughs> getting them all afraid. And the tin man, huh? he, he didn't, he didn't what, what was wrong? He didn't have no brain, no. Tin man, what was wrong with the tin man? He didn't have no courage. He had no heart. Huh? The lion, he didn't have no courage. And the straw man, what did he have? He had no brain. Wow, that sounds like some of us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But then it took a little dog. What was that dog's name? Toto. Toto went behind the screen. That was grace going behind the screen huh? and, and revealing that devil. Hallelujah. It revealed the wizard. Little short man. Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That's the one that's causing all the trouble. That's where it's going to be when we see the devil. Huh? We're going to say, oh, it's you that's causing all this trouble? Oh, hallelujah. Come on and give God a praise. I ain't never thought I'd be using the Wizard of Oz to conclude my conclusion. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But we got to realize we need more grace. Tap into that grace. How do you tap into that grace? You got to pray. Amen? You got to seek him. Am I right? Amen. How many of y'all still got your prayer life together? There you go. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And if there's anyone here today that desires to be baptized in the name of Jesus, amen, for the remission of your sins, the Bible says you can receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We can bury you and be, get you baptized. We got water for you to uh, get baptized into. And we have clothes for you to change into. And we got an able-bodied minister to put you down. I'll, you know what, today, I'll let Pastor Duck put y'all down if there's anybody here. <laughs> she said, yeah. All right. Put it on the spot. Amen. Pastor Quinn just being funny right now. Amen. All right, you want to be baptized? Amen. We got one here today. Amen. Sister Tanasha, Sister Michelle, would you take her back? Amen. Get her ready. Thank you, Lord. You know what? See, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all something. I was not going to start up the pool today. I said, Lord, ain't nobody going to get baptized. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, how you know that? <laughs> Hallelujah. So what I do, I went and got the water ready. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And if anybody want to be a member of Christian Ministries, you welcome. Amen to be that in the name of Jesus. All right. Thank you, Lord. I'm not going to prolong the service. Amen. We're going to be moving. You can turn me off. Amen. We're going to be moving uh, to um, 9.30 Liberty Street. Amen. 9.30 Liberty Street. Amen. Uh, we're going to be moving Saturday, January 9th. Amen. We had to, we had to move the date back a little bit. Because